Hi, this is Jim. Just want to carry on from some of the thoughts we had yesterday. The scripture today is Mark chapter 3, verse 14 15. It's when Jesus was uh, chosen as apostles. It says, He appointed twelve, designating them apostles, that they might be with him, that he might send them out to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. But the priority in this scripture, a bit like yesterday, is that, that they might be with him. That was the first call, that they might be with Jesus. So, you've closed the door. You've went in to be with the Father. You're in that place. What do you do? Well, you may be tempted to speak a lot. Because, like, after all, that's praying. Praying and speaking. And you've been taught that. And you might be, like, thinking to yourself, well, I, I want to meet with him, so I'll talk to him. That's meeting him. And also you might not want to lose concentration. So if you keep on speaking and you keep on saying something, then you'll be meeting with them. Well, I want to encourage you right now not to do that. I'd like to encourage you to do something that's really brave, really courageous, and can be a little bit frightening. And it says, be quiet. And when you're quiet, what you will start to hear are your thoughts. Now you might think this is like not good. You might think this is a little bit negative. And a lot of people get discouraged to have a relationship, or a prayer relationship with the Lord because of thinking these negative thoughts. But don't be frightened to look at your thoughts, to look at your imagine the things you're imagining. Because really this is the first step to be with the Father. So the Father desires to do that with you. Now, the first kind of level of thoughts you'd be thinking are like probably mundane thoughts, just thoughts that you just think, you know, like uh, family, a bit about the future, a job to done, do something you might watch on the TV, shopping, oh, although shopping might seem a, is a, in a stressful area now, isn't it? What to do is ignore these mundane thoughts. Just ignore them and, and they'll, they will kind of disappear into the background. Then there's another stream of thoughts which would which are like worried thoughts, fearful thoughts, thoughts that are a bit kind of like jaggy, a bit kind of like uncomfortable. What God could be showing you here is the things that you are worried about. Now we're not often in touch sometimes with, with kind of like the things that we're uncomfortable with, that we think, that we feel, not want to go too deep with these things. When these things happen, be honest with them, be open with them and speak them out maybe sometimes you can ignore them but sometimes you need to give them to God like audibly sometimes the Bible tells you you need to cast them before God which is like you need to put a bit of strength and energy and cast them before God and sometimes you might just invite God to come into these things saying Lord come into these thoughts comes into these feelings now faith is so important here faith to realise that the Father desires to be with you much more them that you desire to be with him. He is passionate for you. He is passionate to be with you. And the call that he's calling towards you is first and foremost to be still because stillness is like a blank canvas. Stillness is a canvas that he can write things on but first he's looking for that stillness. This is a little song that I wrote uh, and I recorded it about two years ago. I wrote it, recorded it and uh, I just think this might help you to understand the stones of God. When the night goes on and on And the morning it gets lost And the sun can't find its light And I'm wondering what's wrong I can see behind your eyes There's a place where I can hide There's a place where I can see All the love you got for me God's